Okay, real quick, how do we use the snipping tool to take our designs that we're working on uh, on Custom Ink? Okay, well, Custom Ink, uh, you have to create an account if you want to save all your designs. But if you want to just get them, all you need to do is go to the Windows button. And this is available in Windows 7 and 10, I believe. And you just type in snip and you hit enter and you should see that the snipping tool program is highlighted. It's going to pop open in just a second, hopefully. And you're going to see this little tool and uh, it should start with a little crosshair already. We're already selected a new one and I'm just going to click and drag a square. And when I let go, it's going to snap a picture of that screen. Now, if I have a program like paint.net or whatever, or I can just save it, um, the picture. So I can literally just save this picture or I can go into paint.net and I can sort of clean out some of the things I don't want there. But I'm just going to go to file, save as. And I'm going to save it to my H drive. So for you guys playing along at home, um, if you're in one of my classes, this would be a good, I, I'd save it in paint.net maybe and give it a name. Like um, I'm going to call mine Digicom button red. Okay, and then you might call it the name of your YouTube channel or the merch you're creating and, and give them each a unique name. So if you make three or four different buttons, um, you can change the design. So I'm going to save that and then there's, there's one design saved. Then I can go and I can just do simple things like change the color. So I can change my product here. I can go to my product. I can choose uh, just a different color maybe. See what happens if I choose a different color. And um, go to a different color, choose a different sticker, select product. And now my font, I'm probably gonna have to change my text. Uh, and I'm gonna put Digicom is awesome. Add to design. And then I'm gonna change the color probably because black on black is not so easy to see. And then I can always um, change like, you know, how I do the font or I put it on different lines. Like I might hit enter here, hit enter there. Yeah, and then that, that fits better. And then, of course, there's lots of things you can play with. But that's the simple way for my class that I want you to do is design your idea, get your whole idea that you like, and then use the snipping tool, okay, which is just you type snip and you're just going to grab it. And then you're going to save that picture to your H-Tribe. You can also paste it. As soon as you snip, it's like copied your clipboard. So you could go into paint.net and you could uh, paste it right into paint.net and then clean it up if you wanted or if you wanted to do more things to it. By the way, you can also bring designs. You can actually upload art um, into this also. You can say add artwork and you can pick artwork from your computer, I believe. Let's see, upload. Let's try upload. Drag and drop or browse your computer. So I can just take like, for example, uh, I'm going to take, uh, let's try this one here. Okay. I can upload this artwork and then that can be included on my sticker. But now this is a square. It doesn't really fit on this design, but that's, that's another thing you can do by creating your own artwork and loading it in. So have fun with this and uh, that's all for today. Subscribe, I guess, if you haven't subscribed, whatever.